What is going on guys? It's News Friday, week in review. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know that made rounds this past week in Zim and beyond. These include Ja Prazer and Winky D being nominated for African awards, but fans are mad. Tokozani Kupe, now the opposition leader in parliament. My TT to get married to an Igwe, and many more. Now, let's hit the intro and get into our first story. Our first story looks at the best two artists in Zim right now, that being Winky D and Ja Prazer. The two have been nominated for the African Entertainment Awards USA, which are termed Africa's biggest awards ever. JP is nominated for Entertainer of the Year and Male Artist of the Year from East, North and South of Africa. He goes up against heavyweights like Banner Boy, Whiskey, Diamond Platinums, Ray Vani and many others. Winky D, on the other hand, is nominated for Best Dance or Artist and competes with the likes of Shata Wale, Pato Ranking, and Stone Boy. We can make Zim proud if we all go and vote for these guys on the AEA USA website. Sticking to these awards, Ja posted and encouraged his fans to go and vote for him, but little did he know it would lead to attacks from people. Social media have been set ablaze as people complain that Ja only needs the fans help when it suits him but he couldn't even stand or even post about the Zimbabwean Lives Matter campaign. Instead, people have chose to vote for Banner Boy from Nigeria. Tokozani Kupe takeover of the opposition was complete on Wednesday after she was sworn in as MP. The MDCT leader paved their way back into parliament after forcing the expulsion of over two dozen MDC alliance lawmakers, citing a Supreme Court judgment delivered in March, which she said made her the automatic leader of over 100 MDC alliance, MPs, senators and hundreds of councillors. <laughs> My Titi is in love again and this time she has a new Nigerian man. Felistas has claimed after a break up with Zizo Mike that she had moved on and had a new bay. This week she surprised fans when she released a video of herself and the new man who she identified as Obina. The two seemed to be in love and my titi also went on to say that we should expect wedding bells very soon. Speaking of my titi, she was served with court papers to pay 500,000 RTGS to her ex-friend in defamation damages. The lawsuit followed an internet row during which my titi labeled Mary Muyaka a prostitute and a cultist. Muyaka, the owner of Chloe's home deco said Utterance tarnished their business and social standing as a Christian and a married woman. Zimbabwean government and teachers at each other's snake. Teachers have threatened to go on strike if the government doesn't increase their salaries as they feel they are being underpaid considering the value of the RTGS compared to the US dollar. President E.D. Munangagwa has claimed that government will not be taken to Ramson by striking teachers adding that teachers will not receive pay if they do not report for duty. Talking about the Zimbabwean president, there is a video that has gone viral of him making his dance moves. Let's see how he does.
Softbox, our special mention for the Zimbabwean YouTuber of the week is Craig Marshall. If you visit that channel, you get Zim Daily News and also he has his weekly comic awards that he host. Better head there after this video and subscribe. There you have it guys, all the news that made rounds this past week you need to know. Do sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll get to see you next week with some more News Friday Week in Review.